Welcome to our very first episode of Nintendo Historia, which is on the Nintendo News Ninja News YouTube channel. So, each of these sort of history uh, sort of videos is going to be a bit like a story time. So I'm going to be completely professional, like the Gaming Historian uh, YouTube channel or some of those others. It's a bit of a story time, talking about different facts and figures and my own thoughts on those parts of history. <clears throat> so, our first part of Nintendo history is about the N64 Rumble Pack. Now, this thing was released in Japan, April 1997, followed by North America in July and the Europe August in the same year of 1997. Now, of course, this device gave four-speed um, playback and gameplay, just a rumble pack would rumble in your controller and of course it sat on the back of one of these which was very easy to put in it just clicks in and plays just like that now of course <coughs> this thing was powered by a 2 triple a battery and that was one of the downsides of the two because it was, it was early tech and something different the batteries wouldn't last too long, so the battery life was poor. And I remembered that when I played with Star Fox 64, which came bundled with it here in Australia a long, long time ago. I believe in 97, 98. <clears throat> now, of course, you could do hot swapping with the controller pack, which was like a memory pack for the N64. And that was possible with a number of certain games. <clears throat> and that was quite cool. Now, of course, this thing was bundled with the Star Fox 64. And then a couple months later, it was released as a standalone for such great games such as GoldenEye 007, Super Smash Brothers, and a range of other great games that came with it, which was very, very interesting. <clears throat> what the Rumble Pack was enabled to do was make it industry standard. It was, uh, it was released on the PlayStation, the rumble feature inside the controller, I believe a year later. And of course, Microsoft and their Xbox series of consoles continued that generation and Nintendo did with um, the GameCube, the Wii and the Wii U. And that continued that tradition of, of rumble features. <coughs> So, it was a very interesting sort of pack. It was a very cool sort of piece of tech. And it was a small sort of innovation, but it, it felt really right when I played with it on the Nintendo 64 in the late 90s, playing with the Rumble Pack. I think it really made Star Fox 64, um, that we call it in Australia, because it really felt like you were in the fight of pilot's seat or when you were playing racing car games and shoot 'em up games and things like that i think that was the thing that was very very cool and this was just one of the small innovations <coughs> that nintendo made which was very very cool and I guess this bring, brings us to the close of our first sort of history lesson with Nintendo. It's a short but sweet one. And it was a very <clears throat> cool idea that Nintendo did. And I was very happy that they did make something like that in the late 90s. And it really felt that it made me more immersive um, inside the world of gaming. So that's it for Nintendo Historia. And I shall see you next time.